Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about the basic concepts of probability. So first, kailangan natin mafamiliarize sa mga terminologies na gagamitin natin all throughout in this lesson. No? Kasi sa mga susunod na topic natin or sa susunod na mga i-discuss natin, gagamitin natin itong mga terminologies na to. So, pag sinabi nating probability, it is a field of mathematics that deals with chance. So, yung mga chance na yan, makukuha natin in different activities, different experiment. Like for example, no, uh, nasanay tayo na kapag madilim yung langit, sinasabi natin, dalawa lang yan. No? Sabihin lang natin, uh, uulan o hindi uulan. So, that is uh, a kind of probability na. Okay? So, An experiment is an activity in which the result cannot be predicted with certainty. Each repetition of an experiment is called a trial. So, sa bawat activities, no, like for example, no, some activities like tossing a coin and rolling a die. So, that is an example of experiment na kung saan mamimeasure natin or makukuha natin or ma-observe natin yung result ng bawat experiment na to. So, sa bawat experiment, meron possible na event or possible results and that is the outcome. So, ang tawag natin sa result of an experiment ay outcome. So, again, ang tawag natin sa bawat result ng experiment natin is outcome. Like for example, tossing a coin. So, ano yung mga possible results? So, it's either head or tail. So, yung head or tail, that is the possible outcome. An event is any collection of outcomes. So, so again, so from the all possible results or the all possible outcomes, so if uh, meron tayong given, no, kung kukunin lang natin yung number of heads na nag-appear, so that is the event. And a simple event is an event with only one possible outcome. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So, para maliwanagan kayo sa mga iba't ibang terminologies na to, so I'll give you an examples about this. Okay? So, for example, our first experiment is tossing a coin. So, ano kayo yung mga sample space? So, base kanina, ano yung sa, uh, sample space? Sabi niya, it is a collection no, of all possible or the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So, kapag tinus natin yung coin, ano ba yung mga possible result? So, it's either makakuha tayo ng head or tail. Diba? So, therefore, yung sample space natin is head and tail. For the event, so let's say, ang kukunin lang natin is the event that a head will, uh, the event that a head will occur. So, like for example, so ano lang? So, yung head lang. Kukunin lang natin yung head. Okay, our next experiment is rolling a die. So, in rolling a die, ang tinitingnan natin yung faces nung die. No? So, yung number of dots. So, in rolling a die, meron tayong six faces. No? So, therefore, ang, bin, ang kinukuha natin dito is the number of dots. So, we have one. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, ibig sabihin, yung sample space natin is from 1 to 6. So, yung number na yan, that is the number of dots. So, let's say, ang kukunin lang natin, the event of even number appears. So, ano lang yun? That is, ano ba yung mga even number dito? That is 2, 4, and 6. Okay? So, another experiment. Let's say, uh, kukunin natin, no? Yung rolling a die and tossing a coin. So, let's say, pinagsabay natin. Ngayon, ano yung mga possible results? Okay? Ano yung possible results or outcomes ang makukuha natin? Okay? Pwede, no? Makukuha natin. So, yung sample space natin, doon sa anim na uh, spaces ng die natin, Okay? So, pwede maging partner nila is yung head. Kasi pwede ka makakuha na, let's say, yung nakuha mo, uh, one, and then head. Pwede rin na two, kaya head, and so on. Or pwede rin na makuha mo one and tail. Two 
and tail, tree and tail and so on. So pwedeng ganito, no? Kahit uh, isa diyan, so kapag trinay mo yung experiment na to, isa dito sa mga sample space na to yung pwede mong makuha. Okay? So therefore, may ilan tayong sample space. So meron tayong 12. So yung 1H, so yung 1H dito, yung 1 Uh, ibig sabihin that is uh, the number of dots no and h is the head so ito yung 12 possible uh, outcome na pwede nating makuha sa experiment na rolling a die and tossing a coin so for example kukunin lang natin is the even number will came out okay so the e event that an even number will came out so alin diyan ano lang yung mga kukunin natin Of course, yung may even number, no? So, kasama yung 2H or 2, saka head, 4 head, 6 head, 2 tail, 4 tail, and 6 tail. So, kasama yon Kasi even number daw. What if, kapag ganito, the event that a tail and add number will came out. So, tingnan natin. So, tail lang and then add number. So, syempre, dito tayo titingin. Hindi na, hindi kasama ito, no? So, ito lang. So, ano ba yung mga add numbers? So, that is 1, 3, and 5. So, ang kukunin lang natin na event is yung 1 tail, 3 tail, and 5 tail. Kasi sabi dito, tail and then an add number. Okay, another experiment. Identical number cards... From 1 to 10 are placed in a box and a card is drawn at random. So, ilan yung sample space na pwede maku ah, makuha natin? No? Ano, ano yung mga pwede natin makuha kapag nilagay na yung numbers from 1 to 10 dun sa box? So, lahat din yun. No? Possible na ito rin yung, ito yung lahat na makuha mo from 1 to 10 din. So, for example, ang kukunin lang natin, the event that the number drawn is prime. So, ang prime number, ibig sabihin kapag, di ba, pag minultiply natin, isa, isa lang yung factor niya. So, ano yung mga prime number dito? 2, 3, 5, and 7. Okay, again? So, yung prime number natin dito is 2, 3, 5, and 7. Okay, so, sana malino sa inyo ang pagkuha ng sample space sa ka-event. Kasi itong... Dalawa na to gagamitin natin yan kapag nag-compute na tayo ng simple event. Nakukunin natin yung probability ng simple event. Okay, you can try this. Write the sample space for its experiment. So, pwede nyo akong sabayan no, habang sinasagutan ko to So, tossing at two coins, so may madaling paraan naman para makuha natin kung ilan, yung, para ma-check pala natin kung tama yung bilang na nakuha nating possible outcomes. So, in tossing at two coins, so isipin natin na kapag nagtitoss tayo ng coins, dalawa lagi ang possible outcomes. It's either head or tail. So, kaya yung two that is referring to the uh, possible outcomes nung uh, pag nagtitoss tayo ng coins. That is head or tail. Okay? And then, N yung n class that is referring to the number of coins. Okay? So referring to the number of coins. So ibig sabihin, ah uh, kung 2 coins to, so papalitan lang natin ng 2. So that is 2 squared. 2 squared is is equal to 4. So ano kaya yung apat na sample space? So that is head head, head tail, tail head and tail tail. So para ma-check nyo lang, no, you can use this one. Para ma-check nyo na, uh, ma-check nyo kung ilan yung bilang ng sample space ng isang experiment. Okay, yung pangalawang experiment natin, tosing at 3 coins. Okay, gamitin natin yung 2 raised to n. So, yung n, papalitan natin ng 3. Okay, kasi 3 coins na. So, 2 times 2 times 2, that is equal to 8. So, therefore, uh, uh, 8 yung makukuha nating sample space dito. So, ano-ano yung mga yon So, isa-isahin natin. 
head 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 tail head tail head head tail 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 okay yung tatlo tail tail head head tail head tail 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 head okay so ito yung possible uh, results kapag tinus natin yung three coins and then rolling a pair of dice so pair of dice to so ibig sabihin dalawa no so pwede rin natin gamitin yung six raise to n so yung six that is referring to the uh, set of results no nung pag niroll natin yung isang die di ba may anim na pieces yon so kaya six ang n referring to the number of dice since pair of dice so therefore dalawa six squared so, 6 squared is equal to 36. So, paano natin kukunin yung 36 na yun? Okay, gawa tayo ng table. So, dito sa taas, ito yung unang die. So, pang, ay, dito sa itong nasa gilid natin, okay, itong, naka, itong vertical data natin dito, yung 1 to 6 natin dito is, yan yung pangalawang die natin. So, kung kukunin natin yung 36 sample space, so, para mas wala tayong makakalimutan at sakto na 36, so ganito ang gawin natin. Okay? So, ito yung mga possible outcomes na makuha natin kapag niroll natin yung dalawang dies. Okay? Another. So, list the event corresponding to its description. So, paano natin makukuha yung event? Una, kailangan meron tayong sample space kasi doon natin kukunin yung sagot natin. So, sa number 1, yung 3 coins are to. So, sinagutan natin doon sa previous slide. So, ito yung sagot natin. So, dyan natin kukunin yung sagot natin. Okay? So, sa event A, all come up heads. So, lahat daw heads lang. So, therefore, isa lang naman yan. Okay? And then, sa event B, all come up tails. So, isa lang din. Ito lang yun. Sa event C, 2 come up heads and 1 come up tails. So, ibig sabihin, meron dalawang heads at isang tail. So, tingnan natin. So, ito, dalawang head, isang tail. Ito, dalawang head, isang tail. And then, ito pa. So, bali tatlo. No? Dalawang head, saka isang tail. Next. At least one come up head. So, pag sinabi nating at least class, ibig sabihin that is greater than or equal. So, at least one, ibig sabihin one or more. Na, so, kapag may isa o mahigit pa na heads, so kasama. So, ibig sabihin, ito kasama to. Kasi, di ba, sabi nga, at least one came up, come up head. So, therefore, ito kasama. So, kasi one or more. So, one. 2, 3, 4 So, ito hindi nakasama kasi lahat, siya, uh, lahat kasi tail no? So, 5, 6, 7 So, 7 lahat Okay? So, number 2 2 dice are rolled So, meron tayo kaninang table So, dyan natin kukunin ang sagot natin Okay, so Event A is the double same number of dots Okay? Same number of dots so, alin dyan ang magkapareho? So, ito, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. Okay, next. The sum of the numbers is 6. So, the sum of number is 6. So, tingnan natin. So, ito, 5, 1. That, pag ina natin to 6. 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, and 1, 5. Okay, so, may, 5. So, ganyan ang pagkuha ng sample space and then event. So, uh, balikan nyo itong video na to kapag doon na tayo sa susunod na lesson, kapag hindi nyo matandaan kung paano kinukuha at ina-identify yung sample space saka event. Kasi yung dalawang yan ay gagamitin natin sa pag-compute ng probability ng isang event. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson. 
your Walmart channel.